The lease of these fillies is a lease of the racing rights. Whatever they can earn in 2021 will become the property of the leasee. The massive benefit right here is you have three fillies ready to roll. You buy a foal or a yearling, you're a long way away from having some action. It's everybody's target and goal to win black type races at these particular racetracks, whether it's Santa Anita or the fairgrounds or Keeneland. And these are the places that we hope to be winning races with these fillies. And I think if you think about a filly like Altea, she ran at Keeneland. She ran in the grade one against Rushing Falls. She was beaten two and a half lengths. You know, she ran a 99 buyer. She, like, she, that's a very credible effort in a grade one at Keeneland. You know, it's very prestigious. What drew me to Altea was her physique. She's a beautiful filly. She's very clean legged beautiful lines and she's by a sire in France called Sayuni. He sired the Arc de Triomphe winner this year. But Altea was a filly and she was greatest sex quality in France already. She was then purchased, brought to America and she really does seem to have the ability, she's consistent, she's sound and I think if we place her in the right spots she's definitely capable of winning a greatest stakes race for us this year. And here comes Altea and Erod Ortiz Jr. to take the lead. Trainer change was just automatic, you know, she's coming out of Chad Brown's barn. Chad has 50 fillies of the same caliber. We felt like Michael McCarthy would be a nice change of scenery for the fillies and just put them in a different environment and see how to perform in California. And Michael McCarthy is a very good young trainer. He's been very successful over the last couple of years. And he's, his foundation came out of Todd Pletcher's program. And um, it's hard to question his, his college degree per, per se. Here's Bohemian Bourbon. Bohemian Bourbon, what I found very interesting about her, she's a filly with genuine speech. She's a five to seven furlong sort of filly. Um, and if you talk about, if you describe beautiful, she could be the definition. She is gorgeous. She's well balanced. She's well made. She's four turning five. She's just really coming into her own now. I really feel like she's a filly that's going to fill out a little bit more and get a little bit stronger. And we feel like her best racing days are ahead of her, not behind her. Bohemian Bourbon's last start, she was beaten three quarters of a length in a stake in Belmont Park. And prior to that, she was, she was beaten the same distance in a grade two in, in Woodbine in Canada, in the Royal North. We do feel like she's progressive. We feel like her numbers are improving. We might be able to find a spot for her in California that gives her her confidence back. That's what it's all about, you know, getting these fillies to feel like they're invincible. Bohemian bourbon and a swarming finish. His glory. What I like about her really is it's a lovely deep pedigree. She's by Mineshaft. It's the family of classic empire. You know, this is a filly that's turf, dirt, long, short. She seems to be very versatile. Um, she was greatest stakes place in the Pocahontas as a two-year-old, you know, a great two on dirt. Lazy Daisy's re-rallied, his worries dead game toward the inside. And she's come back, her numbers are improving. I think her last race was probably her best lifetime performance. His glory keeps on going, his glory's going, going, gone. She's a filly that's very willing, very forward. She's an exciting sort of filly because her deal is she jumps and runs. She takes the lead out of the gate and come, come run me down. His glory short lead, his glory the winner. She's happy, she's confident, she's comfortable, and she vets very well, and she's, she's a sweet, cool filly to be around. Joe was very excited about her. You know, she's with Joe Sharp, she's been with Joe for the period that we've owned her and he's very hard working he's got great attention to detail and I love the fact that Joe gets on them and rides them I love the fact that he's married to Rosie Napravnik I love the fact like they're real true horse people and that's so important I truly believe I, I don't know which one is going to be the better of them but I truly believe as a package it's a, it's a good opportunity to you know you're buying a scream you're buying you're buying that opportunity to have a scream on a big day and it's um, they're, they're, they're well placed with the right people and we'll give them every chance they can.